How about a little coffee talk? Yes. Well, my dad, he worked on coffee crops back in Cuba. So that begins my interest in coffee. Now, my daughter is another story. She became a coffee expert, so much so that I was inspired to take her on a coffee tour a few years ago. We hit Cuba, but more importantly, we went to the birthplace of coffee, Ethiopia. I have enjoyed being in the big city of Addis on visits to Ethiopia, but it was when I went to the countryside and went on this coffee tour meeting all of these wonderful farmers and their homesteads were so beautiful, just the simple beauty and their hospitality was world class. And one of the most beautiful expressions of that is the Ethiopian coffee ceremony. Now, this is something that I have loved the more fancy ones in the hotel lobby. The one that really captured my heart was the simple beauty of one of the Ethiopian sisters having a tent in the wilderness up in the mountains and having a coffee ceremony. Now, that is more my style. Now, speaking of style, another thing to love about this whole coffee ceremony is that there is a dress that you can wear, and it's called the coffee dress. Oh, my goodness. I love them, and besides being beautiful, they're very forgiving, okay? If you know what I mean, right? I was inspired to crochet a coffee ceremony, and I did this in... Oh, it wasn't that long it took me, maybe a week. And this has been one of the most fun projects. So I have named her Sheba for now. But if you can come up with a better name, maybe I'll have a little contest for whoever can name her. And it has to deal with her identity, okay? Which I'm going to tell you, she is the queen of the South. So if you can come up with a fabulous name, look at the popcorn. I even crochet pop. Oh, look at that. The coffee is pouring out. <laughs> And yeah, come up with a really nice name for her. I, I'm i just saying Sheba for now, okay? There are the cups and look at the flowers. I even have, okay, one of the parts of this amazing ceremony is uh, the burning of frankincense and myrrh. So you have this amazing, just all senses of your just being is enjoying this beautiful ceremony and hospitality. So thank you for watching and let me drop down in the comments a good name for my Queen of the South, Sheba.